Hello guys, Danny Baby here with Danny Baby TV and Minecraft 1.6 is out. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right, so I am going to be doing you a little overview of the main features that have been added in 1.6. They have done loads of bug fixes. But as I was playing around making this world here, I did find one myself. So uh, I've just got 1.6 here and a couple of the new blocks. So the first thing that they have added is horses. This is probably the main thing right now that they've added. Um, you can also get mules and donkeys. Um, I didn't get one of them if I just clear my inventory. Um, let me just find a horse spawn. There you go. Uh, you have a random chance of spawning in a, a mule, a donkey, whatever. This is going to sort to kill these. Because I don't want these wandering around randomly. And oh, that's new to me. It looks like you get leather from horses. Okay, I have just learned that. Um So yes, to tame a horse it's not like any other um any other animal. You just right click on it and then it throws you off. You just have to keep doing this. And then It'll, it will tame. Oh, right, okay, so there I have the heart. And now it's tame. And what I can do is when you're on the horse, you can look at the horse's inventory. You can put a saddle on and uh, some armour. So if I just. So um, if I just dismount this horse here. So what you can do is you can get armour for these. Um, so there's. Iron armor, gold armor, diamond armor. I'm just going to put some diamond armor on. When you're on the horse, you get on your horse, click on him, put the armor on, and there he is in some beautiful diamond armor. Um, I should probably be in the normal texture pack, to be honest. Which, actually, when I talk about that, they are now resource packs. These are called resource packs now. And that is because you can now do custom sounds when you're creating your packs. Also, if you just grab a saddle, this is the exact same saddle that you can uh, find, um, that you can put on horses, and then, there you go. There you go, you can just, and to be honest, you can go quite fast with these. You can jump quite high. So, um... But they are extremely rare to find in the normal Minecraft world. Um, but okay, so there we are. And they've now done this on all moving transports. Left shift to dismount. So that's on pigs, rail carts, boats, everything. So that is a new feature. Also, they have added the lead. This is the lead. Um, if I just uh, if I just grab one of these, you can get one of these and put it on any animal. Look, I can even do it on this cow over here. So um, if I just right click on this cow. I can just drag him along with my lead, and uh, and then what I can do, which is quite cool, if I just um, what you can do is if you have a fence, you can right click to the fence, and then that cow will be joined to the fence or that animal. This good. This works for dogs as well, so you can put them in like you can have like a lead outside of your house, where they can where they can stay, and uh, so on. So this is just showing off all the things that you can put on your um, horses. Let me just change the time to um, it's eighteen hundred, I think. No, no. Why did I do that? Time set set one. Um. So there we are. Here, we now have carpets. So you can get these for every colour wool. And I can imagine that people will be making very interesting traps with these. Or a block underneath is missing or something. I did test that before and I noticed that they are not transparent blocks. They are like a normal block so you can't fall through them. Which is kind of strange but oh well. So you can now also, you can make, um, let me just get rid of some of them. Hardened clay. This is hardened clay. You can make that. 
just search it up on the internet and you just find out how to do that. And then you can dye these the colours of the wool using the normal dyes, I think. So, you, you basically you've got the carpet version now, you've got the wool version, and you've got the duller version, which is the hardened clear version. We've also we've highlighted a coal block. This powers a furnace for the amount of time that nine pieces of coal would. So I don't really get the point, although it's quite a nice decoration. And also we have a new texture for charcoal, so you can tell the difference without having a hover over. Because I often try to stack them together and it doesn't work, so that will come out handy. Like. So, here we have the hay bale block. These don't do anything yet. Um, that's all I have to say about them. So, um, yes, Billy. This is Billy. Now, I did not um, use a spawn egg to have him called Billy. Basically, there's a new item that you can find in dungeons. And this this is the glitch that I was talking about. When you put this into an anvil, um, you get the named one, and then you can just basically right-click on the animal. And once when an animal has a name tag, it won't despawn. So that's quite good. And also, this, this is the bug that I was talking about. You can't write on a sign that's on a fence anymore. Normally, like, when you place it on a fence... Like, no, look, when you place it on this block here, you can do your normal type of thing. Place it on a fence, doesn't work. And you might sit and you say, oh, I need to be right click this. It just places a new, a new one right in front of it, so. I don't think there's any. Oh, right, okay, that's interesting. You have to shift and right click. Okay, that, that, that strange feature. So, they are the main features. There are some other things that I want to try to point out, and that is going to include spawning lots of zombies. Um, basically, um, zombies, oh, they now have, f their friends now fall from the sky. Oh, um, time set. So yes, yeah, so if we just spawn in quite a few zombies, they will now track you from a far, far away distance. So that, that, that's how that works. They track from a far distance and they find you very well. Also, if I um, if I just go um, and hit one of these, uh, oh, hang on, and you begin. Hang on, let me just get myself some armour. So, there we are. And... Okay, so there we are. Got our armour on. So, now... Game mode S. Right, so now... When you hit one, uh, their friends will spawn in from the sky. Look, I've got a massive zombie siege. This track from away, from a distance of about 60 blocks. It's quite ridiculous, actually. And let's see if we can get one to fall from the sky. Um, it's, yeah. Minecraft has been made much, much harder with this kind of thing. And, um, yes. I really want one to fall from the sky. Hopefully, if you if if you're watching, you may see one fall from the sky. If not, if you if this doesn't happen today for me, do some do, do some of your own testing and see what happens for you. So this is what's happening for me. So there we are. Let's just kill these off. So that uh, that's how that works. Anyway. That, that that that's a feature now um also we have got um the zombies are harder and um so on obviously the main feature is the horses um so i've just got the thing texture packs are now called resource packs and they can hold sounds you can't destroy blocks and creative with a sword yes i noticed that before when i was making this you can't do that anymore, which I think is a good idea because I used to be going around fighting uh, 
fighting all of these zombies off. And I'm like, ah, die. And then all of a sudden I make a hole in the ground and I'm like, ah, uh, I uh, have to replace it. Um, so that 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 is that is a good feature. So there's the new charcoal. Also, we now have the plus something attack damage. Um, Jeb was working on this, and uh, this now tells you how much attack damage something will do. So even on a pick, so an iron pick is going to do plus four attack damage, which means that that does as much attack damage as a golden sword. Like yeah, um. So, I guess that these are really the main features. There isn't much else that they've added. Uh, this is food meter is now drained when healed by full food meter. I, I don't understand that. Um, also, we have some potions. What are they called? Um, golden apple. Where's a golden apple? Search for a golden apple. I know that one of these golden apples now gives you extra hearts, I think. I'm not sure which one, but I think. There, look, yeah, it gives you two extra hearts for there. One for two minutes. And you can keep eating as many of them as you want. So if I could just. Game mode one. Grab, like. I just hang on, where are they? Golden apple. They are going to be adding portions for this, though. Uh, game mode zero. Okay, so this is, you can uh, you can add as many hearts as you want. I that isn't happening right now. I don't know whether that's only with the portion. I think they've added that portion. Uh, mode uh, uh. Game mode creative. Um, I think they've added that portion. Um, ab. Uh, no, they haven't added that, but uh, it now tells you, like, oh, building block, decoration block. So, um, yes, um, they've added lots of cool features in this. And the new launcher, which, um, it's complicated. I don't like it, really. That's personal opinion, though. And, yeah, I mean, I, I'm... Uh, yeah, yeah, you can only do that with stuff that isn't there. So, um, I hope that you like these new features. I mean, I'm quite happy with them. I think that the guys at Mojang have done a good job, I think, you know, um, the snapshot, uh, snapshot, no, this is an update. Um, there aren't as many things that have been added as there was in the last one. I like, that is all of the features in a nutshell, basically, and it's, it's still good though. Um, I, I, I'm quite looking forward to get playing around on this. Um, there aren't really any new blocks added, apart from, actually, I forgot to mention this, new texture for lapis. Look at how ugly that looks. MC Gamer is going to be like, so rage. If you haven't seen MC Gamer's sketch on the, about this, that he was doing, and he was like, just a normal day in Minecraft. Because that, that's his motto thing. If you peoples don't know, and if you don't know, why don't you know? This MC is amazing, yeah. So, guys, um, yes, new texture for that and new texture for the charcoal. So, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, then I like is appreciated. If you want to show your support for this update, then um, tell Notch and Jeb on Twitter and Dinner Bone and people and leave a like and uh, say what you like about the update and what you don't like about the update in the comments. And um, next time it will be for Minecraft 1.7 or 1.6.5 or whatever the next big update is. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed and remember to subscribe for more gaming tutorials and vlogs. So thanks for watching. Bye.